What's your name, my brother? Don't worry. Brother, brother. What's your name, my brother? Eric. 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 My name is Asai. All right, so listen to the scripture again. The book of James, chapter 1, and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word. We're supposed to be a doer of the word because you know, you said you know. So what it says in there, we got to do it, right? Read. And not hearers only. It, it sounds like a good song to know that you're Israel, to know that the God is a black man, but we got to do, we got to apply. Read. Deceiving your own self. Will does you deceive your own self just by listening to the word because you're gonna you gonna put be put to death because we're gonna continue and you know that you're Israel but you gotta keep the commandments because if you're not keeping the commandments what is that sin right so in the wages of sin is what death so you don't want to die you want to live right that's right is that it uh yeah for verse twenty three for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer and what and not a doer so if you only hearing the word and not a doer because god requires action hear that my brother with the the jean jacket on what's your name or Corey. so he said if you say it again read again for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer so we got to be a doer of the word read he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass yeah, so you see yourself in the mirror, right? You see yourself, read. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So this glass is the Bible. So you see that you're Israel, and then if you leave it, then now you forget all the commandments. You don't know what you're doing, right? So give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 to 12 for this brother. Because to let you know, he knows that he's Israel. So did you know that you're Israel? Sorry. No, so where do you see your nationality on this sign? Black American, Black, Black American right? Which is a color, and um, American is a so-called white man. Amerigo Vespucci. So we are, you are not a color and come from a so-called white man, right? Your father is a black man, right? So according to the Bible, this Bible is written to the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. In Deuteronomy 28, it said that curses will come upon the Israelites if they didn't keep God's commandments, right? Hold that. I, I, I'm going to get to you. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Because he said, God said, if you do not follow my commandments, you will be cursed. And we could look around this world and see who's cursed. What people are cursed? Black, black Americans, Hispanics, Native Indians, right? Go ahead, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen to God, to observe, to do all his commandments, to do all his commandments, and his statutes. Oh, to do all, to do all his commandments. So we gotta do all the commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So curses are gonna come upon the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy under one and one. So all the curses are gonna come upon the Israelites if we don't what. By the rule. By, 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 by the rule. Do what the commandments say, right? So, and you say cur curses are good or bad? Bad, bad things. Bad. And we can look around the world to see what what, what, national, what nationality of people is bad things happening to. Blacks and Mexicans, right? Three. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. So let's see who God was talking to. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, all nations. All Israel. The whole world? All Israel. Israel. So when we read to Deuteronomy 28, 15, the Israelites will be cursed because we didn't obey God. Right? So let's get a, let's get a curse. Give me Deuteronomy 37. 28, 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. An astonishment is an amazement, a wonder. So the other nations look at us as an astonishment, as a wonder. Like, wow, these are the people of God. Like, we just kicking it, smoking weed, just hanging around. Wow, we play sports very well and sing very well. That's an astonishment. Read. 
A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. So if you want to hide something from a Negro, put it where? In a book. Because we, because it's known that we don't like to read, right? A proverb is we are, are late all the time. We lazy. We shiftless, right? Well, we like watermelon and what? And chicken, right? So those are wise sayings amongst us. Read. And a byword. A byword. A byword is something outside your God-given name as an African American, Hispanic, Native American. Those are bywords. Because God didn't call you black as a nationality. God didn't call you Hispanic. God didn't call you Cuban as a nationality. God called you, if you're American black, he called you what? Judah. Praise of God. That's what he called us. Read. Among all nations. Among who? All nations. So wherever we go, we're going to be called black, Negro, colored, African American, all these different words, but Judah. They don't call us Judah in China. They still going to call you what? Black. Read. Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Who did it? The Lord shall lead thee. The Lord allowed this to happen because why? We disobeyed him. Just like if you got kids and you told your kid that this this, and this needs to be done. Clean your room, clean up the house, do the yard. And they don't do it when you get back. What's going to happen to them? They get punished. That's what's happening to the children of Israel. Read. Give me 47. Verse 47. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So therefore because we disobey God, we're going to serve our enemies. Who's our enemies today? Bring it out. So-called white man. So-called white man. So-called Chinese man. So-called Japanese man. Hold that. Give me Psalms 83. So those are enemies. The other nations are our enemies because we are getting what? Shot down in the streets. We had the sister that was in our house with the son playing video games. What happened to her? She got shot through the window. She got shot through the window. It wasn't even the right house. Oh, it was a courtesy check, right? So, and then the brother on South, in South Lamar, what happened to him? Oh, yeah. With the, the uh, Amber Geiger case. Yeah. The brother got shot in his apartment eating ice cream. Yeah. I so who is that happening to so-called white people all the time? No. And what about us as a people? We hate each other too. Bring it up. Right? So it don't they don't have no white on white crime. It's black on black crime. Right? Three. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemy. So God has enemies, right? There's, God, there's people that hate God, right? Even our people be hating God too. Read. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. A tumult, an a, a, a angry gathering. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They're the proud ones of the, of the world, right? Read. They have taken crafty counsel. They have taken crafty counsel. They get together and say, we're going to push these people down to the to the uh, poor part of the area. You hear that, brother? But they, they take crafty counsel. What's your name, my brother? Contrail. Right? Red line. Right? Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Where do you see yourself on this sign? Your nationality. Yeah. Yeah. Your father's a Native uh, American. All praises. So we going over the fact that this Bible is written to the Israelites. And we, if we didn't keep God's commandments and be a doer of the word, we would get cursed wherever we go through all nations. Right. And that we have an enemy that we will serve because of not keeping God's commandments. Here are our enemies. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? Us, we the hidden ones, cause you didn't know that you Israel. He, we didn't know at first we was Israel until now we finding out that we Israel. Read. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation." It said, "Let's cut them off from being a nation." You no longer call yourself Gad. You no longer call yourself Judah. You call yourself what? A native Indian. No. You call yourself black. 
So it said they're going to cut us off. They hid this from us. They knew all along the powers that be knew who we were. That's why they keep us in sin. Right? right? Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So we don't call ourselves a nation. We think that Native Indians, Hispanics, and Blacks are three different nations. But we're the same people. We're the same nation. Read. That the name of Israel. The name of who? That the name of Israel. Meaning Prince having power with God. So if you call yourself, if you a uh, certain name yourself Israel, that means you are a Prince having power with God. But if you don't do that, now you just a nigga. Now you just black. There's no, is there power in that? There's no power in that. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. No more in remembrance. Now it's going to be a, a, a distant memory. What's what you got? I have a question. Yes, sir. Okay. I know about the 12 tribes. Uh -huh. I know that 10 were lost and 2 were found. But what happened to them? Say again? What happened to the 10 tribes that were lost? The 10 tribes? Give me second entrance. So they came over here before we did. Right? Because when in this land, who was already here? The Native Americans. But how did they get here? Because there was no Pangea. They didn't walk around or walk across the Bering Strait. They got brought over here on ships. Right? So this, this goes with y'all too. You got it? The book of 2nd Esdras, chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the 10 tribes. 10 tribes, which will be under, uh, from Ephraim on down. Ephraim is the head tribe, read. Which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanasser the king of Assyria led away captive. So this was during the Assyrian captivity. They was led away captive, the northern kingdom, because it was a split, right, between the two kingdoms. Because you had southern and northern kingdom. Right. There was a split because of the wickedness that we was doing in Israel. Read. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So they're going to leave the multitude of the heathen, which is the heathen are the other nations, right? Read. And go forth into a further country, where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt, that's where they're going to go. Officer, can you get uh, Arsareth? Read. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. They didn't keep it in their own land. We was continuing being in sin. So they say, you know what? We're going to leave the multitude of the heathen, and we're going to go to a farther country where never mankind dwelt. Read. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. We got the map, Soldier Idro. So they say they're going to take, they're going to go through the Euphrates through a narrow passages of the river. Read. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. So the Most High, because they, they, they was good with the, uh, with the stars. So they knew astrology. They knew that the Most High is going to help them hold the flood. So when you go into those waters, it's treacherous waters, right? So it's going to be rough to get past it. So the Most High held still the flood, read. For through that country... There was a great way to go. So to get to the new to where nobody lived is a long way to go. Read. Namely, of a year and a half. So to go from under Af from the Euphrates under Africa was a year and a half to get to the so-called South America. Read. And the same region is called Arsareth. So that same region is called Arsareth, the newfound land. Newfound land, that's what that means. Go ahead, read that. All right, this is the Jewish Encyclopedia. The name, Osterith, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, even which the 10 tribes of Israel, the what? The 10 tribes of Israel will dwell. Habitation, hold on. Observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration. According to what's that, Second Andrews, things 13 and 45, Columbus identified who did? 
Columbus identified. So they read if they got a movie called 19, uh, 1842, I believe. 1492. 1492, excuse me. And he read in the book of Ezra. There's a clip on YouTube. And, they, and, and the priest was like, oh, you a Jew now? Because they knew, because you remember Columbus was like, we're going to sail over there. Oh, there's the, world, uh, the world is flat, right? And they said nobody's ever been there. But he read in 2nd Ezra's how to get to America. Go ahead. Columbus identified America with this land. So Columbus read the Bible and saw that America was Arcerus. Right? Fine. Go ahead and read that again. And he knew Jews uh, were dwelling over there, right? The, Yes, sir. Read. The book of 2nd Esther, chapter 13 and verse 45. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsaret. As we read in the Jewish Encyclopedia, they know these things, right? Read. Then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now when they shall begin to come. The highest shall stay the springs of the stream again, that they may go through. Therefore sawest thou the multitude with peace. Right, so they, so the ten tribes came to this land, so they was already here. So Columbus came and took over the land. That's why you got Puerto Rico, which is called what? I mean, what, what, what's the name of Puerto Rico? What do it mean? Rich Port. Rich Port, right? Rich Port. That's, so he came there, they saw them with diamonds and rubies. So when they came, when Columbus came all over to this side, he knew about all the riches we had. And that's why I said that the Lord shall send against, shall uh, uh, send us, scatter us, and our enemies is going to come and, and enslave us, right? Hello. So go back to Deuteronomy. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Hello. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So because we disobey God's commandments, now the conquistadors is going to come over to this land and conquer the native, the uh, so-called Hispanics, right? And make them speak Spanish. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. So in everything, in food, if you need McDonald's, if you need the grocery store, who owns those things? You know. The white man, right? So it said we will serve our enemies in hunger. And in thirst. Water bill. Your, the uh, uh, Water is bottled up and sold to us when it comes out of the mountains, out of the rivers, out of the uh, sky. Right, so it's we have to serve them for that. Read, and in nakedness for the clothes that we wear. What what it say on the tag? Made in where? China. Made in China, Malaysia. Right. You know. That it don't say made in uh, uh, Leroy's house. It don't say it don't. It, right. Uh, we, we might it might say Sean John on it or Rockaware, but we don't own the textile. Read, and in want of all things. One of everything, so religion, school, toilet paper, all those things we gotta serve our enemies for, right? So what schools do we own? We might, LeBron James might put a school together, but who on, who uh, is in control of the, uh, what is that, the, uh, uh, the curriculum? Who's in control of that? White man, right, Reed? And he shall put a yoke of iron up. Who had yokes of iron on their neck? Bring it out. Right? This this is in the Bible. It's been in the Bible this whole time. But we don't read it. We didn't pick it up. They didn't teach us that because hold that. Go back to Psalms 83. Because they have a conspiracy. They have a uh, crafty council. You don't have that sign, soldier? The yoke of iron. This, this shit, ain't there another one? Well, look, see right here, yokes of iron on their neck. Yokes of iron on our neck. It said that in the Bible. Bring it out. Right? So that's because we disobey God's commandments. Right? Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Jump down to verse five. Verse five. For they have consulted together with one consent. All the nations come together with one consent to say, let's keep these people in sin. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.